Hey guys, Insomnia here with Furry Hippo Gaming, and welcome to my channel for our first AFK Arena gameplay. And we are looking at the Hard Mode Labyrinth. Another portal, but this one looks a lot more dangerous than the others. Perhaps it also hides much greater treasures. As we enter this, we always get a fountain and I believe a mystic to see if we can bring anybody back or need to, which we don't. Um, as you can see, the opponents here are quite a bit tougher. And some of the team comps here actually destroy mine. If you look at what I'm using, I have three light bringers. So one CC Shamira. My team is not the ideal comp because I only have the 10% bonus. So I do need to swap some people out. But we're going to go ahead and give it a couple tries here. And I've noticed too, if you do use it on auto, you lose a lot of things that you normally would uh, be able to do. Like using Fox's ability when when you get um brutus and his shield because he can actually destroy your entire team in the less with enemies with less than 15 percent of their max hit point are set to an early grave which is awesome because for so many of them it helps a ton so we actually make sure the two things we want to make sure is we do the cave of treasures in here because look at the loot bonuses which are huge and then we make sure we don't go through here and burn all of our tiers because they seem to go pretty quick. And I do save usually some of their abilities, like I said, especially Fox. So you can kind of get through there, which it looks like Brutus died from our relic that we got. I've had a lot of problems coming through here with my present team comp because it always seems like they just get destroyed at a point. Where if you look, most comps like that, this one's going to be tough because it is five light bringers. So even though I do have more power, which usually if I can get Shamira and Rain off, then it just rocks them in a couple seconds. And I do save most of their other ultimate abilities because I want to save them for the next fight. So we'll go front line defense. And some of these matchups are pretty tough. But see how I can already use most of their ultimate abilities to start? Because it's it's, if it's a tougher team, you can usually burn through them pretty quick. Which is kind of the point of saving them up. And once he gets immune, you can get rid of Brutus's shield pretty easy. Which is the only reason I've been running Falks as well as when you go through and um, CCs. When he CCs the first opponent, opponent just off the bat, it just destroys it. And here I do save the shield for a little bit to try to keep Brutus alive. It seems like most of this battle he just drops as a tank. So going through the previous stages, I actually go through and try to collect every relic I can. So I skip getting the extra, um, doing the trader or doing the, the cart to get some extra heroes or anything. I always go straight for the relics because I know hard mode can be just that. As you can see, Brutus just went down. And now the question becomes, who do I use for a backup tank for Brutus? Not really anybody, unfortunately. <laughs> So, but we will pop somebody in there. Sometimes I've ran with Shimira a couple times because we only have essentially two more battles. I have also used my additional, so that gives me the three bonus, 15 and 15. But if you see, I actually have to swap the gear because Brutus is wearing some pretty good gear. And he is not so hot. But if you look, even with boosted defense and boosted health, You'll see, unfortunately, he usually drops pretty quick. I should have saved that for Brutus, but Brutus is attacking his own team, which is one relic that I love. The other one is the spider cocoon gloves. We got through that, so we just have one more, which we could bring back Brutus, and we don't have many left. So we'll do the defense. So Brutus, but we already swapped the gear, so we should be good for this run. And it looks like it's actually going to be a really good run. 
just for the fact that we didn't have to use any tiers for this run. Or maybe I spoke too soon and we're just gonna get destroyed in this battle. But usually once Shamira's ultimate goes off, especially at Ascended level, she pretty much destroys just about everything in just a couple ticks. And as you can see, that was a very successful. I didn't have to use any of the Duras tiers. And the loot here has always never been too great. I know the Hero Essence is much needed, but I got a few more minutes, I believe four more minutes. And then I will be completed and it will actually reset. So finishing the weekly, let's see if we got any summons here, which I don't believe we do yet. I save them to make sure that we have a full amount of summons, so at least the 10 summons, that's the way the wish list can work. I haven't been too lucky with the wish list. So looking through here, um, haven't gotten, I'm still missing two of the new heroes and still missing one of the old heroes. So haven't been getting too lucky, but that was running through the Arcane Labyrinth. As you can see, got real lucky. That time usually I get uh, destroyed once or twice. So pick up some Regal rewards and thank you guys very much for watching. We'll do one quick little rare summons and which is just a little bit of fodder. So thank you guys for watching. I'll have a video probably coming out later this week. I'm actually have some neat things planned. So subscribe to the channel if it's your first time watching and thank you guys for watching.